What's going on, everybody? Just uh, I saw this funny video uh, that was put out by Global News, and you know they're always good for some comedy. They're John, supposed to. Oops, sorry about that. They're, they're supposed to be good for news, but really all they're good for is comedy. So let's just have a look at this, and then uh, we'll talk about it after. John, this obviously was a budget that was designed to try to pull the Liberals out of a bit of a political downward spin that they've consistently been, been in for months. Uh, you're raising concerns about what this could mean for productivity, for the economy. Uh, it also has some things in there that they think will be appealing. In your opinion, as a former politician, is this enough to turn things around for the Trudeau government? No, I don't, I don't think so, Regis, but that's partly because, and I've said this before, I subscribe to what I call the Seinfeld theory of uh, political longevity, which is, you know, Seinfeld, great show, lasted nine seasons. And if you think oh, in Seinfeld. terms of modern political history in Canada, you know, uh, think back, uh, Brian Mulroney, nine seasons, Jean Chrétien, 10 seasons, Stephen Harper, nine seasons. Uh, even if you go back to Pierre Trudeau, he got an extension after being defeated after 10 seasons. Margaret Thatcher, 10 years, and even in France, at the end of the De Gaulle era, Margaret Thatcher is not Canadian. Chanting, ça so winning again after uh, three governments, after nine or 10 years, it'll be 10 years in October 2025, that's a tough sell. So I don't think it's enough because I think people are going to say, ah, let's, you know, enjoy the show, but it's time for something new. Um, okay, so that was kind of weird, right? I mean, this whole Seinfeld theory. First of all, whether you like Seinfeld or not, I personally didn't. I wasn't a fan of that show. I know you can roast me in the comments. Go ahead. It just wasn't for me. That being said, I also understand that a lot of people did like it and that it was one of the greatest uh, sitcoms probably ever made in terms of its numbers and how much money it made and how popular it was. That being said... Trudeau doesn't have this reputation of having nine great seasons. Like, what are you talking about? Not to mention, Jerry Seinfeld was offered, like, millions and millions of dollars to make season 10 of Seinfeld. He said no. Justin Trudeau is, I mean, he might resign, I doubt it, but if he doesn't, he's going to get kicked out, which means no one wants him back, but that's a big difference. I know this is some former MP minister. He's probably just trying to save face by making some cute little reference, but I mean, it made no sense. I mean, what do you, it was a great nine seasons. People hate him. People want him in jail. No, I don't think anyone wants Jerry Seinfeld in jail, do they? I mean, it's a weird comparison. And again, I get he's just trying to save face. That's likely why he said that, but you know, Trudeau's political future is is basically non-existent, right? Like there's not going to be some spin-off. He's probably going to go work for some major corporation and make a lot of money. I don't know what he would do there. But that's just rumors I've heard that he, he's going to go get a job at some major corporation and you know do something. I guess I'm, I'm not really sure what he's going to do, what the plan is. But in terms of his political career, he's ruined it. Jerry Seinfeld did not ruin his career. By making Seinfeld, it was nine great seasons. People wanted more. The network wanted more. Everyone wanted more except him. This is the opposite for Trudeau. He wants more when no one's no one wants him. So it's I mean I just it's a silly little reference. I just thought I'd share this with you because I thought it was kind of interesting just the way you know he just made that analogy and I, I just didn't think it it, it fit very well. Um, like I said, there's lots of problems with Trudeau with the Emergencies Act. He might also face some criminal charges for that. We'll have to see how he repeal, uh, appeals that in the Supreme Court. But the federal court did rule against him that he did violate our Charter of Rights. I think most people would call that treason. So, you know, he might be going to jail. And again, Jerry, Jerry Seinfeld, unless there's something I don't know going on, I don't think he's going to jail. Jerry Seinfeld actually left a great legacy with his show, and I still think he does some sort of comedy. I'm not sure if he does stand-up or whatever, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be involved in that until he can't be. Right? I mean, like, he, like until he's too old to be. You know what I mean? I don't see him, you know, stepping down or resigning or getting thrown in jail or anything like that. Uh, he's probably always going to be involved in, com in comedy. Justin Trudeau's political career is... I just can't imagine the Liberals saying, yeah, let's, uh, let's get him back into office. 
they, they'd be better off picking anyone else. So, I mean, it's interesting. We'll have to see what happens there. I just thought I'd kind of show that with you and we could all kind of laugh at global news a little bit together. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back shortly with, with another video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. It definitely helps out my channel and I'll be back shortly.